Hello friends, this video on binomial theorem part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, you should have watched binomial theorem part 1 to part 4. Now let's take some special case of binomial theorem. x minus y to the power n. So if you see the normal case we have developed was a plus b to the power n. And this is x plus x minus y to the power n. So what we'll do here is, we'll replace a with x or x, we'll replace a with x and b with minus y. So if, and if you see a plus b to the power n, this guy is equal to n c 0, a to the power n, b to the power 0 n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 dot 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 n c n a to the power 0 b to the power n. So here we are replacing x a with x and b with minus y. So x minus y to the power n this will become n c 0 x to the power n b to the power 0 is equal to 1 plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 this x to the power n minus 1 replacing a with x and b is to the power 1 b is equal to minus y to the power 1 plus dot 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 n c n a to the power 0 that is x to the power 0 into b is equal to minus y to the power n so this guy becomes n c 0 x to the power n this becomes minus because minus y to the power back. 1 is equal to minus y, this becomes minus 1 nc1 into x to the power n minus 1 y plus and this becomes minus y to the power n minus 1 to the power n into nc n x to the power 0 is equal to 1 and this becomes y to the power n. So if you notice the difference here is you get alternative minus plus. This is nc0 x to the power n minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3. So there is an alternate pattern. If you see the coefficient, this becomes nc0 plus minus nc1 plus nc2 minus nc3 plus nc4. So this is the pattern you get in x minus y to the power n. So typically x minus y to the power n is equal to this. The only difference here is in this you have alternative plus and minus. So we have one more special case in binomial theorem and that is 1 plus x to the power n. So if you notice a plus b to the power n is equal to n c naught a to the power n b to the power 0 plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 dot 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 n c n a to the power 0 b to the power n. Here a is replaced by 1 and b is replaced by x. So here when we say 1 plus x to the power n, so we can also write this as form n c naught 1 to the power n is equal to 1, b to the power 0 is equal to 1, n c naught, n c naught is also equal to 1 actually. So we'll say 1 plus this becomes 1, n c 1 into a to the power n minus 1 is equal to 1 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 1. This becomes b to the plus 1 plus nc2 a to the power n minus 2 is equal to here replacing a by 1 we get 1 to the power n minus 2 that is also 1 so this becomes p square dot 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 nc n b to the power n so you see here a term is gone only we have term b sorry b is equal to x here so what we what will get is nc0 is equal to okay i'll make it nc0 only instead of 1 so this you get nc0 plus nc1x replacing b with x here plus nc2x square plus nc3x cube plus nc4x4 dot 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 nc n x to the power n. So you see the pattern here a is gone because a is 1 here. So the pattern is nc0 x to the power 0, nc1 x to the power n, nc2x to the power 2, nc3x to the power 3 dot dot dot. 
So these you need not remember all this pattern. If you remember this formula, is more than enough. This formula, if you remember, is more than enough. But if you want to, but if you want to solve this question fast, then you need to remember these formulas because these formulas help you to solve the question fast. Generally, you get formulas like this only one plus x. So instead of writing this big formula, you can write this shorter formula. It gives n c naught plus n c one x plus n c two x square. nc3 x2. Similarly, we have one more special case in binomial theorem, and that is one minus x to the power n. So here also you see instead of x we have minus x. So in this formula n c one plus x to the power n, which we have derived now, we have got n c naught plus n c one x to the power one. Here it's x to the power zero actually, plus n c two x to the power two. Here you got n c three x to the power three. Dot dot n c and x to the power n. So if you replace x with minus x, this becomes n c naught x to the power zero minus x to the power zero plus n c one minus x to the power n one plus n c two minus x to the power two plus n c three minus x to the power three. Dot 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 n c n minus x to the power n. So you observe here that all the even powers of x minus x square minus x four minus x six becomes, and this is one, this is two, this is three. All the even power becomes positive. So this becomes minus x to the power zero is equal to one. So this becomes n c naught. This is minus x to the power one is equal to minus x. So it becomes minus c n c one x. This is minus x to the power square is equal to x square. This becomes n c two x square. This again becomes negative because minus x to the power cube is minus x cube. Dot 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 minus one to the power n into n c n x to the power n. So here what I have done minus x to the power n I have done is minus one to the power n into x to the power n. So you get this formula. So here you where you have alternate plus minus. And this is a special case. You need not again remember this, but it's good to know. If you know this, you can solve the question in faster way. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.